Okay, garden update. Uh, it's Easter Vigil Eve 2016. And uh, this is a little tomato bush I just planted. Um, not, well, this week. And I went ahead and I, I put down some of my homemade compost around the base. You can see there's still some eggshell pieces there. And there's a, looks like a squash coming up from the seeds that were in the compost. But this is a, uh, what is this? This is a giant Belgium tomato. We'll see how those come out. And there's my mom's hydrangea bush which I planted right there. And this is the tomato bush from last year. Um, you can see it's pretty much died. Uh, there's a one tomato there that grew through the winter. And this is pretty much dead. And, but we do have New growth coming up right here, right out of that. So that's interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this back, but I'm gonna let it be. See if I can get some blossoms off there. And this is the green tree collard. As you can see, it's been growing quite a bit. So, I mean, uh, we got this last year, and I think it was like this high. So it's probably grown about a foot, two feet in one year and I've had about three different harvests off this so far I can't wait for it to get taller so we can continue to harvest more of these this is ready for a harvest again I'm ready to take these off and uh, eat them and there's my spinach this is the spinach I had from last year it's just propagating itself and it looks very healthy and tasty. Still growing from last year in that same pot. I moved it from over there to here. And I just got through planting this parsley last week. I've seen some growth on that. I had to dig out one of my Russian kales here, but I put it down there in a pot uh, in case somebody else wants it. And then this is the uh, this is the kale bed, mainly the kale bed, which uh, is starting to come back again. We had been juicing a lot of this kale, uh, juicing it a lot, and then I noticed it was starting to get some tiny bugs on it. I don't know if you can see them. Let me see if I can find a, a cluster. Okay, there's, there's a cluster there. You see that? See the bugs there right there so I had been using uh, some diatomaceous earth uh, I had been using this diatomaceous earth and um, sprinkling that on the uh, center areas and I did that for a couple times last week and uh, it seemed to help a little bit but um, oh looks like we got a helicopter coming by Okay, so, so I was watching another video from uh, Back to Eden Gardening again, and uh, he said something about if your plants are dehydrated, they're more susceptible to bugs. So I've been trying to water them more, and they seem to be doing a lot better, because um, I don't want to put chemicals on them. And, uh, and so I've been trying to water them a little more daily and, uh, and keep them more moist. Uh, and watering, you know, earlier in the day so that this has time to evaporate before the evening comes. Because I don't want to get any, uh, of, I want to reduce the amount of powdery mildew showing up in the garden here. And you can see the marigolds are pretty much blooming. 
and the tomato bush that came up as a volunteer tomato bush is starting to uh, produce. I believe these are Romas, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they're Roma tomatoes. So those are growing nicely. And I still have, <laughs> I still have a small little basil plant I'm trying to nurture, but uh, it's not getting enough sun probably because of this marigold here. So I don't know if I'm going to have to relocate this marigold or maybe relocate this. Um, but the sun is starting to come over to this side, as you can see. We're getting to the end of the evening, the end of the day here, about 4.30 or 5. And we're getting some sun, a line of sun that comes along here on this north side of the house. And looking over into this garden bed here, you can see one sliver of light coming over here. The plants are reaching up to grab it. Right here, the, uh, the beets. And again, I said, this, this, this particular beet was actually a beet I had just bought at the store, an organic beet, and we had cut the top off and thrown it into the compost pile. Well, it ended up in here, and it's and uh, it was sprouting in my compost pile. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just plant it there, and it's been there and been growing through the winter, and it's really starting to take off now. And then, of course, this is some uh, romaine lettuce and some more beets here and I've got some seedlings starting right here that I'll transfer soon what do we got here romaine lettuce more romaine and what's this those are some more marigolds and here we have Swiss chard Swiss chard right here, little seedlings there. So you can see the lettuce mix I planted is really compacted. So I'm going to have to start to thin this out uh, just by, you know, picking the tender leaves and throwing those into our salad so that it's not so compacted in here. And um, there we go, some more romaine lettuce growing nicely. And these are radishes that I planted here. Radishes. And for some reason, this corner of the garden hasn't been doing well. I think it needs more uh, nutrients. It needs some more uh, compost or something. And then this is some cilantro that I'm growing from seed. I just planted some seeds in the ground right there and it's coming up. And again, there's that little tomato clone that I just stuck in the ground. I broke that off a tomato plant and just shoved it there and it seems to be starting to take off quite nicely. And then over here, you can see these are some squash, uh, butternut squash seeds that are starting to grow good now. And then, you can see this, there's, this is two big tom potato plants that I, I just planted two big potatoes in the ground right there. One there, and one over there, and they're just like taking off. And it's like, it's doing so well, I'm thinking of maybe just planting another big potato right there. And, uh... These should be ready around July, and what I learned was that you know that potatoes are ready when the vines die, when everything dies and falls over. So this has got until July or so to continue to grow. So there you have it. I've got some more stuff going on in the backyard, but uh, this should be enough for now. A uh, little update. Keep seeking truth. God bless you all.